Hi, this is Seth David. Welcome to another special screencast from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated. Today we're talking about formatting cells in Microsoft Excel. Formatting cells is important in terms of making the information that you're trying to present in Excel uh, easier to read, easier for people to understand. Uh, very similar to when you're writing blog posts on the web, your information has to be formatted in a way that it quickly captures people's attention and then retains their interest. Well, it's especially important when you're doing something in Excel because in Excel usually you're presenting numbers or some sort of technical information, so it becomes that much more important to make sure it's presented in a way that it makes sense, that it's easy to understand so that within three seconds of looking at it my immediate thought is oh this looks interesting I want to look further that's the whole key and, and formatting cells is going to go a long way to helping you get your information looking in a format that that makes that happen or that's more likely to make that happen so the first place I need to take you to is the format cells dialog and as always there's a couple places a couple ways to get there number one is to press control and the number one key on your keyboard that's this is an old keyboard shortcut that carries through from uh, Excel 2003. Control and the number one will bring your format cells dialog right up on your screen. Now, right away, you can see that I have several tabs number, alignment, font, border, fill, and protection. And within each, I'm going to have options. So, of course, I can't cover all of this in a short five minute webcast. So, what I encourage you to do as your lunchtime tip for today is to pick something other than what I'm about to demonstrate for you and play with it just one concept go into the number format and play with the currency formatting but play with it try and learn something formulate at least one question come back post your comment here on the blog post and and ask the question or just tell me what you've learned it would be great to have that kind of feedback now what I want to demonstrate for you is uh, how to make a form look real nice and I've done similar uh, topics in other screencasts but this is new and updated so one thing I often do when I start out is I'll highlight the entire spreadsheet which is done by clicking this little box right here between the A and the 1 and what I'll do is I'll format the entire spreadsheet in a dark navy blue and as soon as I do that I want to make sure I format the fonts for that entire spreadsheet in white or for that matter something that's going to show up nicely against the dark background and let's say we're doing a phone list a phone and email list so I have first last email and phone number now very plain boring looking so far the first thing I'm going to do is highlight my headers control the number one I go to my fill options fill effects I'm gonna change the bottom color to a dark the light color I'm already happy with I click OK OK again and then I just wanna bold up these headers to make them stand out a little bit next thing I do is highlight the range that's going to contain my data and I may wanna widen up these columns first let's highlight the range that's going to contain the data and now I wanna clear my formats out I can choose no fill and that way right away my grid lines appear problem with that is these won't necessarily print unless I've set the option for them to print so better in my experience to get into the habit of using an actually an actual white background and then let's bring up our format cells dialog go to the border the color I like to choose a dark gray and then we can use these buttons to quickly fill it in and click OK so now I've got some light borders if I use the default dark borders like these it's a little too dark in my opinion and that starts to get distracting so I like to use these nice light gray borders now of course make sure once you've chosen a light background that you've uh, once again changed the font colors back to automatic or something dark which I forgot to do now one thing Excel does recognize is it recognizes web-based formats like hyperlinks so if I enter an email address and hit enter it will automatically convert the formatting to a hyperlink format here's the thing I want to show you though that's really cool Excel has what's called special formats for things like phone numbers control the number one I go back to my number tab and I find the special option here and let's choose phone number and see what we can do click OK now what this enables me to do it really makes for quick data entry because I can just type a number out 
I don't need to put any formatting in. Excel does it all for me. So if I'm entering a list of phone numbers from, say, a meeting, a networking group that I just went to, I just gathered a bunch of people's cards and I want to enter their phone numbers so I can use something like this to either email it around or maybe I want to upload the data to, to my Google contact or whatever I use for contact management. But I want to retain a nicely formatted list in Excel. This is the way to do it. And then one last tip I'll give you, of course, whenever you're doing something like this, you always want to freeze the panes at the top so that you can always see your headers and that's done by going to view and freeze panes. That's not so much a formatting option as it is a, a, a feature, uh, you know, an on-screen view feature of Excel. But that's handy to do, so I thought I would show it to you. And that is about all I've got for you today for your lunchtime tip. So again, please go ahead and play with one aspect of formatting cells in Excel. Spend 15 minutes today playing with it and come back and post a comment on this blog entry. Let me know what you played with, what you learned, and of course, absolutely, if you have any questions at all, post those in the comments. I would love to get the feedback, and I'll look forward to getting back to you with any answers that I can. As always, I look forward to seeing you on the web, and I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day.